Magdrill cutter, I want to say that you can cut if you cool properly, if you have the right speed and everything is okay, you can cut somewhere around 200 holes. People use them and use them and use them and they break. Once they break and a chunk of material is missing, they cannot be resharpened. So I say, hey guys, you use them and they're not cutting anymore, put them in a box, I pick them up, we ship them to the manufacturer for resharpening. Cutters are out there, hundreds of different brands. Um, there is uh, obviously Hogan, there is Needle, there is CS Unitec, Fine. Evolution also has mag drills and, and cutters. For cutting with uh, annual cutters, you have to cool always. And the nice thing about mag drills, you can cut on a horizontal surface, surface, but you can also cut sideways or upside down and the mag drills you can take to the job site. They are lightweight, relatively lightweight. I mean, that one in the portable. picture is, is not <laughs> lightweight, but portable. So you get from 23 pounds up to, you name it, that guy, and remember how much that thing uh, weighs, but it can weigh 70, 80 pounds. Um, so cooling is important. Most mag drills have a coolant bottle. Very cheap ones don't. So you have the guy with the spray bottle. The intention of annual cutters is to cool from the inside out, but when you're drilling upside down, you tell me how, to, how you want to cool. So that's when this paste <laughs> comes in place. And this is a gooey stuff that you smear on here and it stays inside and you can drill horizontally or vertical. 